Welcome back guys, Tactical AV here. I wanted to give you an important update and let you in on something that I figured out here. I've got my infrared thermometer and I've had my Marantz receiver on now for at least four hours running. The fans have not been turned on at all and I'm just getting an understanding of how hot the device gets when, well, it's just using its internal cooling functions and no external cooling whatsoever. So I want to show you, as I pointed out, four hours it's been on running with audio and whatnot playing video games. If we take a look here, well obviously it's going to be the different parts, the power supply and whatnot are going to be a different temperature than some of the capacitors, but regardless of that, I am reaching temperatures that are pretty warm. It's usually going to be near the amp modules and whatnot. But if we get back there, where my fans are sort of on top of, we have a much different temperature in the front of the unit than we do in the rear of the unit where it's putting out most of its power. So I would like to show you that big significant difference in the front of the unit versus the rear of the unit. But now, after it's been on for so long and yes, playing Battlefield, PlayStation 4, I'm going to turn on the fans now. And I'm just simply going to turn them on speed low will do. We'll do speed low. Now this was the S7 dual USB cooling fans from AC Infinity. $20 only. Exhaust or blowing. Uh, right now I have them blowing, of course. However, I can already tell a significant reduction in the temperature. Let me go ahead and use my infrared thermometer one more time after I've just turned them on low to see if there's any temperature change in the unit. Obviously we've got our two main big caps right there. We'll take a look at those, okay. Okay, so we're still somewhat in the 100 degree mark Fahrenheit. If I get it back there, well, we can reach 100, but we're significantly reduced the temperature inside there, just in a matter of seconds. Now let me turn the fans on medium. I've obviously got a ton of audio coming out of the receiver. The unit's been on for four hours now without any cooling, and I've just turned the fans on to medium speed at this point. Let's check the temperature one more time. Okay, so we got the fan speed on medium. So a little quicker now, and we seem to have a dramatic decrease a reduction in the temperature. I'm not even reaching 90 degrees anymore. I'm trying to get furthest back to the point where it would be the warmest in the unit. So how does temperature we measured being 86 so far? And yeah, that's looking pretty substantial. A pretty substantial temperature change here. Obviously it's been on lo long enough for the TV to go into idle standby mode here. But let's now turn the fans on high. All right, we're at our fa our highest fan speed right now, and we should be blowing into the receiver on both units. I usually like to turn them upside down to do exhaust, but there's other components that you can cool with these as well, and, well, I've upgraded the cooling system I'll be using. So, with the fan speeds on high, just to illustrate what this does and how necessary this can be for certain equipment, specifically video game systems, the consoles themselves heat up so much and it happens to oftentimes be the thermal paste. So that was the highest temperature we were reaching that I don't think you're going to be able to cool much more because the device inside is reaching that temperature. So blowing air at it, it is only going to cool it down so much. But then again, it is designed to work at specific operating temperatures. Most of the capacitors, as I've pointed out before, and the Emotiva equipment, I believe are rated at 105 degrees Celsius, commercial grade capacitors. So certain components are obviously meant and, you know, to heat up that much to certain temperatures at operating temp. But just trying to show you, illustrate the dramatic decrease in temperature that just a simple $20, even a single fan, would do to any device. Now, the PlayStation systems, not too sure about the Xboxes, but it's the thermal paste on the CPUs and on the chipsets that actually goes bad after a while. And that thermal paste wears out, 
and uh, you have to reapply the thermal paste, heat it up and whatnot. So it can be a big, you know, it can be problematic if you don't take care of the equipment. And after the fans have now been on for you know, a minute or so at high speed, yeah, we're dramatically reduced here. So thank you guys for watching. I've got a ton of videos I've got to put up still, and uh, we got some fun stuff. Can't wait to show you. Take care, guys. Don't forget to subscribe either. I get to go through all my new 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays. And, of course, test the best ones out. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video, guys. And last of all, not least, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.